Oh, there's a grenade, uh, backing splattered all over the wall. Hello, my name is Rudy, and I have a quick little Verdun video I hope you enjoy. I'm on the Champagne front. I'm currently armed with a Gewehr uh, 1898, equipped with a trench magazine. I can hold 20 rounds no, because reloading is for losers. We're not gonna be hold, held down by reloading. It'll be, should be pretty good. Of course, being a rifle, it's uh, much, much less, you know, it's a bit more unwieldy, right? You know, harder to, takes longer to aim down sight, but it does have a longer range. So it's best to get into a forward position, hunker down and aim and wait for the enemy to appear. And I guess we'll try and do, do just that right now. I have no grenades in this particular loadout. Oh, there we go, we got one. But yeah, no grenades in this loadout, so you know, makes it a bit harder to attack positions. Makes it harder to flush the enemy out, you know? But that's why we have a whole team to help us. Number two. And we still got 18 rounds in the magazine, I guess is the correct terminology. We missed one. Well, we'll let him go. We'll let him go. All right. So lay down some covering fire. My ally got that enemy. Looks like he was a Dutchman or French. I can't tell. Frenchmen typically have a bluish uniform, but I feel like the Dutch have darker uniforms. All right, let's advance into the trench now. I guess I'll, there we go. All right, this is a great start. And we're being hit, so we got outflanked there. Definitely don't have eyes on the back of my head or anything like that. Or on the sides of my head or whatever. All right, yeah, we'll keep using the Gewehr. I'm not sure what else uh, this particular squad role has in terms of loadout. Uh, but I quite like the Gewehr, actually. I haven't used rifles too much. I mean, I've tried using the Gewehr with a scope, and it's never really turned out too well for me. I guess I'm just not good at sniping, you know? It requires very, very good knowledge of positioning and fire lanes and all that. And also knowing when to reposition and everything, so... It's a whole different set of skills. Alright. Somebody down there. Yep. It's gotta be good at spotting. Of course, being good at spotting is great for a, uh, a sniper. I guess I'm just all about the uh, the mid-range combat role. You know, you're not right up in the enemy's face, but you're not too far away either. You know, close enough for things to be a little bit personal. Okay, he almost... Yeah, it's a good thing I got him there. Otherwise, if I missed, then I would have completely revealed my position. And then I don't know how that would work out. Is that... Alright. Yeah, that's a, a twitching dead corpse. Yeah, this game is not shy when it comes to uh, portraying the brutality of war. You know, you see the consequences of the violence. Which is always very interesting. A lot of times in movies, there's tons of gun violence, but you never see the consequences of that violence, and so, you know, it gets a PG-13 rating. Alright. So, yeah, using this rifle, I guess... I'm not sure how mobile I can be. Like, if I run around the corner, am I gonna be able to aim down sight quick enough to take out any enemies I might come across? But so far, I feel like using this rifle, it's just like a laser. I see something, line up, and then it's dead. But again, yeah, I mean, aiming down sight is much slower, so... Running around the corner, I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do. Like, if I come up against somebody armed with a pistol, and they can just aim at me and start shooting at me, that might not turn out too well for me. I guess we'll see. It's just about learning to use the weapon properly. Oh, we got some gas. You know, I just, I don't want to deal with gas. Sounds like all the action is happening down here. Yeah, okay, this is... Okay, well, thankfully my ally saved me, probably. I'm not sure if I would have survived that. Yeah, that's a... Uh... Right, so that's um, that's a Belgian uniform with that top hat looking thing. I guess it really is a top hat. I have no idea the history behind that. It might be kind of useful to know that or whatever, and now I'm dead. Let's fight. 
But yeah, did you see that? That guy just ran right around the corner with a pistol and he got me. And I had the sniper, so I was a bit too slow. I guess that's the trick to this game, you know? Just gotta know your weapon. Well, that's a friend guy, don't... So that's the... Uh, the thing about this particular map, the Champagne Front, is that there isn't really a no-man's land. It's like there's trenches crisscrossing right across the map. And you can run into the enemy trench being basically completely concealed. You know, it's not like uh, other fronts where... You have to run across. What the hell is that? Ooh! Alright, there's an enemy down there. I uh, got startled by... Okay, yeah, he was a... Oh, there's a grenade. Listen, oh man. I wish I could have shouted out to him. Okay, we're just gonna stay right here. No, don't worry, man. Your grenade killed us both. And that's the victory right there. Thank you so much for watching this quick little video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and leave a thumbs up and all that. And uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more stuff like it and other games too.